Hello, YouTube. I have this gold plated material. It is a waste product left over from an industrial process weighing 1.5 kilograms. I used 5 liters of 68% nitric acid mixed with 5 liters of water. Next, I soaked the material in this solution for a week to remove the gold plating from the material. Then, I rinsed out the solution. Later, I used a colander to filter any fragments of gold from the solution which could not be dissolved by the nitric acid, leaving plastic and stainless steel as waste products. The colander used to filter must have spaces which are the appropriate size for the gold remnants only. I sifted the previously gold-plated material through water. As a result, the gold fragments passed through the colander mesh. I then used a magnet from a hard disk which has a magnetic field capable of drawing any leftover magnetic material. I used the magnet to draw out and remove any metal fragments mixed in with the gold fragments. I rinsed out the solution and let the gold fragments dry. I made aqua regia by mixing one part nitric acid with three parts hydrochloric acid. I slowly poured the aqua regia onto the gold fragments, being careful to avoid any overflow caused by the chemical reaction. I found through experimentation that 100 milliliters of aqua regia can dissolve 50 grams of gold plate at the saturation point of 90 degrees Celsius. I then used cotton wool to sift the chemical solution. I found 
that it was an effective and economical process. Using sodium metabisulfite, I managed to get the gold to settle as sediment at the bottom of the aqua regia solution. I slowly poured in the sodium metabisulfite until reaching saturation level, or until the sodium metabisulfite stopped dissolving. At this point, the brown sediment of gold could be seen. I let the solution settle for 30 to 60 minutes. I slowly poured out the chemical solution, ensuring the sediment remained. Soaking the gold sediment in hot water, I rinsed it three times to remove any chemical residue. Then, I completely dried the gold sediment out by the careful use of a hot air blow gun, ensuring I did not overly disperse the fragments. Later, I used an induction heater together with a graphite crucible to melt the gold particles. This was both fast and effective.
After that, I added a little borax powder to further clean the gold particles. I placed the hard, but still hot, gold particles into a mixture of two parts nitric acid and one part water. This solution further cleans the gold particles. These are the gold particles removed by this process. I was so delighted to see the results of my work. This last stage can be undertaken after you use Aquia Regia. The remaining Aquia Regia solution from recycling contains 1 to 5% gold left over from the process. I slowly poured zinc powder in the remaining Aquia Regia. The zinc powder reacted with the aquia regia and thus helped the gold sediment settle. When brown sediment appeared, I continued pouring in zinc powder until reaching the saturation point. This shows that the chemical reaction has finished. I used a piece of cloth to sift the gold sediment. Then I rinsed them with hot water. The cloth I used to sift through the gold sediment can now be burned and the gold sediment could either be made into aquia regia or the sediment could be sorted out and blown dry. I use the gold sediment to make aquia regia. I slowly poured the aqua regia onto the gold fragments, being careful to avoid any overflow caused by the chemical reaction. Using sodium metabisulfite, 
I managed to get the gold to settle as sediment at the bottom of the aqua regia solution. I slowly poured in the sodium metabisulfite until reaching saturation level, or until the sodium metabisulfite stopped dissolving. At this point, the brown sediment of gold could be seen. I let the solution settle for 30 to 60 minutes. Then, I completely dried the gold sediment out by the careful use of a hot air blow gun, ensuring I did not overly disperse the fragments. After that, I added a little borax powder to further clean the gold particles. I placed the hard, but still hot, gold particles into a mixture of two parts nitric acid and one part water. This solution further cleans the gold particles. I obtained a little more gold. Before I found out about this technique, I ended up throwing away a large amount of the gold I could have salvaged because I thought all that was left was useless sediment. This is the additional gold obtained from this process, and this is all the gold I have obtained from the complete process. Work safety. During the experimental process, standard safety equipment for working with chemicals should be used, such as gloves and a mask. In addition, the lab or workspace should be well ventilated and situated well away from the community or animals. I hope this technique I have presented will be of value to you all. Please share, subscribe and view our other videos.